Right, so we're going to compare um, box and whisker plots, right? And sometimes we are asked in exams to compare two, um, usually two, different representations of data. Right, so if we read this question here, it says, in a year 10 maths class, right? And I put not yours because it isn't yours. Okay, I've got this data from somewhere else. Um, the results from a test they sat were um, analysed by considering the boys and girls separately. All right? So the results are split up into boys and girls. You've got here the box and whisker plot for boys, and then you've got the girls down here. All right? And it says then compare the distribution of the boys and girls results. And when you look at it, um, you know, you've got here, you might think that the boys have actually, you know, done really well here, okay? Because if you look, the boys have got the highest marks here, like 98 there is the highest one, right? Whereas the girls haven't really touched those higher marks, okay? I mean, the highest one for the girls is 82. So looking at that, right, we might think that, well, the boys have done, boys have done much better. But we have to be careful in terms of reading box plots properly, right, and how important they are. Remember, this is our median here, okay? So I might put M there just to, just to remind you of that. That's median. And that's the middle, isn't it? That's the middle. It's, it's an average because it's the, it's, the, it's the pupil that's in the middle, okay, of all of these, okay? And if you remember that, if you think, because that's the median, the, the, the pupil in the middle, 50% of all the pupils are, go, uh, are less than this, aren't they? If you think about it, yeah? 50% accounts for all of those pupils that have got less than this median mark. And, of course, you've got 50% then that have got more than this median mark. If that makes sense, yeah? You can say the same with the girls. That's the median there, which is the middle sort of girl. So 50% then of the girls, okay, half the girls have got above that median mark, okay? Because the median is the middle. So half have got above it, and half of the girls then are the other side of it. Okay. More, you know, more detail then, we've got these here, the lower quartile, the upper quartile, right? And if you remember from the other video, right? Um, the lower quartile, upper quartile, just represents quarters of the pupils. So here, the lower quartile, this represents a quarter way through of the pupils. In other words, if that's our lower quartile, okay, then 25% of our pupils have got less than that mark. Does that make sense? So this is our bottom 25% of boys, that is, yeah? You can think about it that way. That's our bottom 25% of boys. Whereas here, this is our top 25% of boys, yeah? Okay, because that's our upper quarter. You've got 25% of the boys here. That takes you up to 50%. So 50% of the boys up to the median. You've got another 25% taking you up to the upper quarter. So you've got your 75% there. And then you, these are your top 25%. Okay? And, you know, it's important to sort of see that when it comes to um, commenting on it, okay? Um, now, we can do the same, the same applies here to the girls, but let's just compare them now. As I said, you might think here that the boys have done better, okay? I mean, you know, you could say that, couldn't you? You know, we could say, look, the, the top 25% of boys, okay, scored... Look at that, 80 is the upper quartile, so scored above 80%, okay, or, or got 80% or better, okay, yeah, um, so they, I mean, that would probably be better, scored 80% or better, that would be a better way of wording it actually, because they might have got 80%, so 20, the top 25% of boys scored 80% or better, whereas, um, no girls, None of the girls scored above, that there would be 82%. Okay, so when you look at that there, you, you see the top 25% of the boys scored 80% or better, whereas then no goal, girls scored above 82%. You think, okay, well, the boys are doing better here. But that only accounts to the top 25%, okay? And they, they obviously are strong there. Okay, the boys are obviously strong, the top 25%. But when we look at the whole class, the class as a whole, right, 25% is only a quarter, isn't it? Okay, the class as a whole, the most interesting statistic, the most important value is this median here.
okay? And when you look at the median, the girls actually did better, didn't they? Let's, let's note that down, okay? So, so the girls' um, median score was equal to 62%, okay? The boys' median score Look at the boys' median score. Now, with that, the boys' median is there. That's 56%. Now, remember, median is an average, right? Median is an average. It's a middle value. Well, clearly, the girls did better, didn't they? Yeah? That's the most important statistic, the, the average. Okay? The median. So, we've got to say the girls did better. Okay? The girls, on average, did better than the boys. Despite the fact that you know the top 25% are, are really, really good, girls actually on average did better because they got a higher average score, higher median. Okay, so that's really important there. Notice as well when I'm commenting on it and comparing it, I've written that down, girls on average did better than boys, but it's no good just writing that statement without backing it up here. I need to show the evidence. Okay, so I've shown it, haven't I? I've given figures, so I've proved it. Okay, so that's good. So don't just write down a statement like that. You need to back it up. You need to put down some numbers down, okay? Some stats. The other thing as well then, right? What I want you to do, the other thing we can compare as well, is looking at the spread of the data. We can have spread out to this. Now, I wouldn't focus on the range, right? Because I think the range is not particularly good in terms of looking at the spread. Because with the range, right? Let's look at the girls, for instance. You could have a child down here who scored really low, okay? And then, maybe she's the only one who scored such a low mark. Maybe the rest of the girls are around here, okay? So really, this, this, this here, there might be no child there. We've just got this child here who maybe wasn't well on the day and didn't do very well, okay? Or maybe she didn't work hard enough for it, okay? Um, but this here, we call an outlier, possibly, okay? Because she's out there on her own, okay? Out there on her own, whereas maybe the majority of the majority of them could be there. So looking at the range, comparing with the range doesn't always help. The best way to look at it now is to compare the interquartile range, okay, which we discussed in the last video. The interquartile range measures the middle 50%. So let's look at the boys' interquartile range to start with. Okay, the boys' interquartile range, so IQR. So we look at the interquartile range, it's upper, which is 80, take away the lower, which is 24. So 80, take away 24, that comes to be 56%, okay? Let's look at the girls, IQR, okay? 60, no, sorry, 70 there, isn't it? So that'd be 74, take away this value here, which is 50, okay? 50. Look at the girls' interquartile range, only 24%, Okay? So the spread of the girls' results, okay, is nowhere near as much as the, as the boys, okay? Now that means the girls are better in, in that respect as well. The girls are more consistent. If you look at here, the girls are more consistent because they've got a lower spread of the middle 50%, okay? Lower spread of the middle 50% means that they are better, they're stronger. Whereas with the boys, the marks are much more spread out, so they're less consistent. So we can say the girls are more consistent more consistent because they have a smaller interquartile range. Okay, so I've used that word consistent, which is important, and I've backed up my evidence, I've backed it up with evidence here.